Hey everyone, it's Brian for GumballTech.com, and in this video I'll be bringing you my full review of the HTC Desire for US Cellular. I'd like to thank HTC and US Cellular for sending this phone out to me for review. Now, if you live in the US, you can pick this phone up for $99 on contract on US Cellular. Now, there is a European version of this phone, and they vary slightly. Um, the US version is CDMA, while the European one is GSM. Now, going through the tech specs of the US version, it has a 1 GHz Snapdragon processor, Android 2.1 Eclair with HTC Sense, 512 megs of ROM, 384 megs of RAM. It also has a micro SD card slot, which supports up to 32 gigs. The phone comes supplied with an 8 gig micro SD card. Now the screen is 3.7 inches, 480 by 800 WVGA resolution. This is a AMOLED display. And it also has an internal GPS, 5 megapixel camera with autofocus and flash, Bluetooth 2.1, Wi-Fi, and it also has a 1500 milliamp hour battery. Now I'm going to take a quick look at the included accessories in the box. Now I've done it dedicated unboxing video already, but here we go again. You get some information about the phone, US Cellular, Android, quick start guide for the phone itself. You, you also get this little USB wall charger, and you also get this little headset. I didn't use this at all. Um, if it's like any other mobile device headset, it's not very good. You also get a couple extra foam tips and this little shirt clip. So hopefully from this view you can see that the screen is very nice. It's nice and bright. The colors really pop out at you. It's not a super AMOLED display, but it is just AMOLED. But it does look very nice. The colors are really clear. Everything is nice and crisp on this 3.7 inch display. Now on the front of the device we have a little earpiece at the top. We have a search button, back button, a little optical trackball. And this button also clicks. You also have a menu button and a home button. Now the HTC Desire does run Android 2.1 Eclair with HTC Sense, so you do get a much better UI than you would with the stock Android interface. This looks really nice. You could also pinch at your home screen, which lets you view all of your other screens at once. You could have up to seven different screens. And HTC also includes a number of different widgets and live wallpapers. As you can see, I have a live wallpaper right now. Now the US cellular version comes with a number of different included applications. Most of them weren't very useful so I honestly got rid of them. And it also helps free up some space. This does not run Android 2.2 just yet. Apparently US cellular is going to be putting out a 2.2 update eventually. They don't really have a time frame yet. But 2.2 will allow you to run apps from your SD card slot. But right now you could only run them from the internal memory, which is very low, so you're going to want to have to um, get rid of some of the default ones. And to actually do that, you'll have to root the phone. I shouldn't exactly be saying this, but in order to remove some of the stock applications like MySpace, their little GPS application, some sort of ringtone maker, all of these applications that you would never even use or open, uh, you would have to root the phone and you would have to use some sort of program to get rid of them. I'm not going to go through that here. I'm not really supposed to say what I just did, but I had to do what I had to do. Because I couldn't just live with those applications sitting here on my home screen like that. But anyway, going on with the rest of the phone, here's my home screen. Android 2.1 is pretty cool. You could put your applications into folders just like you could do on iOS 4. Here are all of my current stock applications, all of my third-party applications, some of my stuff for my root, and here we have a little widget that lets you kill some of the background applications. Now going through the rest of the phone, here on the top we have a 3.5mm headset jack. There's also a power button. On the left side of the phone we have a volume rocker. On the bottom we have the USB port and the microphone. And on the back of the phone we have the 5 megapixel autofocus camera with the flash and there is the speaker right there. Speaking of the speaker, it does get pretty loud, but at loud volumes it'll get pretty distorted. It'll start to sort of click when, you, when you're playing music or listening to somebody on the phone through the speaker when the volume is all the way up, so you'll probably want to bring it down to maybe three quarters of the way or maybe half. 
but the earpiece is really loud and it's really really clear I was very satisfied with the quality of the earpiece the person that I was listening to was loud and clear they could hear me loud and clear as well through the microphone so making calls on the HTC Desire is very good battery life on the other hand is another story you'll be lucky to get through a day of battery life um, for me I didn't really do very crazy stuff I had Wi-Fi on the entire time auto brightness was on and that was pretty much it I did do some Foursquare check-ins some tweets with pictures a number of text messages with pictures phone calls internet browsing I took some pictures with the camera and did some video and overall you'll be lucky to get through a day of battery life with this phone if you plan on using it you know using a lot of the apps and things like that so battery life nothing to get excited about it's not too great but it's alright now the actual touchscreen on the phone is really nice and responsive works very well it's nice and smooth when using your finger to scroll around browsing the web on the other hand is another story if you're used to the internet browsing experience on the iPhone then you may be a little bit disappointed by what you'll by what you'll find on the HTC Desire and Android now Android does have a WebKit browser but it's pretty slow in my opinion compared to the iPhone 4 and just the the smoothness of the browsing experience just doesn't seem very good on the on Android in general you can see that it's not perfectly smooth this is about maybe 20 25 frames a second of of scrolling it's not very good and using two fingers to scroll in isn't very good as all good as well um, you can see that the entire website just completely screwed up once I tried to zoom in it's just not a very smooth or fluid experience HTC does desire does include an accelerometer so you could uh, turn your device over and the web page should rotate right there it's being a little difficult looks like it only rotates in one direction well maybe not we're having a fail on our hands so anyway um you can see that it's being really difficult right now it was slow even though I already cleared most of the applications that I had in the background now this was a pretty short review but overall I really do like this phone the hardware is great the 1 gigahertz snapdragon processor is pretty speedy a lot of the applications on here load within a second or two it's pretty fast um, you can see that it has sort of a chin right here it sort of lifts up a little bit and the buttons do stick out just a little bit but there are a number of cases available for the HTC Desire and they're all pretty cool but overall I do like the HTC Desire the design is great would I prefer it over the iPhone 4 well yes and no I like the front I like the way it looks I like having dedicated buttons for certain functions having one button on the iPhone 4 is sort of disappointing at times but I do like the design of the HTC Desire it looks really really nice and I like Android on here HTC Sense is the best UI for Android I've ever seen Motorola's interface sucks the interface on the Samsung Galaxy S devices are, is just horrible um, even the stock Android interface is better than those but HTC Sense looks very nice as you can see here everything is nice and fluid it looks really pretty um, oh yeah camera quality almost forgot about that cameras and or excuse me photos and videos taken with the HTC Desire they're they're okay it's nothing like on the iPhone 4 but they do look okay and most people will be satisfied with the quality I'm not going to show any on video but if you'd like to see some of the photos I've taken with this phone you could go ahead and check out our full review over on gumballtech.com so that was just my quick little review of the HTC Desire for US Cellular again I'd like to thank HTC and US Cellular for sending this out to me for review now if you'd like to see my full review on this phone you could go over to gumballtech.com you should see a direct link to the review down below in the, in the uh, description area and you'll be able to get more information on this phone and check out some photo and video samples so if you have any comments questions or suggestions you can leave them down below in the comments area but that's about it with the video so thanks a lot for watching and I'll talk to you guys later